Brooklyn Daddy in the house. What is up for a Monday? Talking about Clash Wars today. Get some, get some, get some. Oh, yeah. Pretty exciting. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love Clan Wars. I think it's super fun. I'm in two new clans, one for my free-to-play account, one for my pay-to-play account. The free-to-play clan that I'm in is Spacemen. Well, I'm free-to-play. I don't know if they are. I can't speak for them. Hello, Spacemen. Thanks for having me. So I participated in my first clan war with Spacemen today, and uh, it was super fun. Let's just check out the replay. So we're up against Orist DJ with a bunch of exclamation points. Get, get, get some. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be talking through some pro, tip. pro, 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 tip. pro tips. First of all, I highly recommend you take advantage of the feature where you can do the friendly battle. Okay, so split goblin gang at the back. Never really a bad, or should I say seldom a bad way to start. So he logs on the right, so I add some support on the left, but he zaps. So did a little bit of damage sitting on elixir, on elixir. Don't waste elixir kitties. Oh, I gotta add that. And here, oops. I missed. I missed just a little bit. I was trying to position my wizard so that he was gonna stop the prince's charge. Valk by Oris DJ does a nice job there of shutting down my bandit. But now, get some. Get, 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 get some. Dragon's on the tower doing some nice damage. Splitting his sparks between the dragon and the tower. There we go. Did some nice damage on that push. Now, I do have to mention the zappies that Orist DJ has is a little underleveled. Now, I know he's not as high level as I am. So that just could be... Oh, incoming hog. Going to drop a Mega Knight on that. Oh, yeah. get some, get some. And now this is a spooky combo coming in here. Now, who's the tower going to lock on to? The Mega Knight, which is great. And look at that. Mega Minion. Mega Minion staying alive with a little bit of health. And I was debating there who to bring in. I went with Wizard, and I think it was the right choice. And now at this point, you can see Oris DJ has a pretty expensive deck, and he doesn't really have much aside from Zap. And look at that. I mean, that's it. Three crown. Oh, yeah. Get some. So, my biggest <laughs> pro tip, not my biggest yay, my biggest pro tip here is make sure that you have everything as leveled as it possibly can be. You might have to spend some gold, but it really can put you at a disadvantage if you bring in troops that are under tournament level. Easier said than done, I know, but if, if you don't have something up to uh, tournament, then, you know, maybe make a different deck. And I can't stress enough how important it is to do these friendly battles with your war deck, testing out your war deck over and over and over again with the other clanmates to really see what's going to be the best war deck for you. Now, I'm going to do a live ladder battle here. I'm trying to trying to claw my way back to Challenger 1, oh, yeah. which I was at with my free-to-play account using... This is how I got there, using this mortar deck. But I've been using this deck, which I talked about in my last video, and it's, it's a really fun deck. I think the hardest thing, because it's a spendy deck, 4.3 Elixir, you really have to be disciplined in terms of not over committing and not spending all your elixir on one lane because you open yourself up for split lane attacks. So let's see if I can put all that into practice. Pro tip. And do a lot about live. Up against Omen. Les affranchis. <laughs> Give the thumbs up. And let's see. So. We're level 11, they're level 10. I'm going to just sit and see what they do. Okay. We're going to get an E-Wiz, and we're going to have our Goblin Gang ready to go, and then we're going to come right in with a Goblin Barrel. Now, we've got Valk over there on the left. Okay, I think what I'm going to have to do... Shoot. I'm going to take some damage there on the right, but we're doing a good job on the left. Well, that was actually not so great. <laughs> Oopsies. I need an oopsies. That's a no-no there. Don't sit on the Valk. See, I, I opened myself up to a right lane attack. That was bad. So maybe we're going to do a little P.E.K.K.A. at the back. 
pack out at the back. Oh yeah. Now what are we gonna what are we gonna back up our Pekka with? Okay, this is scary. We are going to That's Matawa. But now let's get we're gonna do a little split lane action here. This is good. Our little gobbies are doing some quality work on the left tower. That's gonna be left tower, folks. Gotta go nuts on the get some, and now we're in a little bit of a lead. One little skelly crossing the bridge. It sounds like the beginning to a poem. Okay, so let's see what Omen is gonna be bringing. I'm doing a, I'm doing a preventive. Uh, okay, coming in on the right. I I smell a balloon in my future. Some arrows, but that's gonna be enough to take out. Uh, here we go, got one hit on the King Tiana. Gonna have to Archer. Gonna have to arrow the Archer, what am I saying? It's hard sometimes to talk and speak. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Don't waste Elixir Kitties. I gotta put that in my sound effects bank. Do not waste Elixir Kitties. Okay, so we are going to get, what do you think here? Let's do Goblin Gang, and I'm, I'm separating out. Okay, so arrows have been spent. That's good, that's good. This is looking good. Prince gets it, and Big Mama Pekka didn't stay alive to get her stored onto the tower. Oh well, sad for her. But there we go. Oh, three crowna. You get to see two, three crown us today from Brooklyn Daddy. Brooklyn Daddy! Deployer des troupes. So the other clan I'm in is Oxmo's Light, which is the light version of Oxmo's, which is a competitive French clan. And so I have to speak French in the chat, which is good practice for me. Hello, Oxmo's. I hope they're watching too. Oxmo's Light. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's why the interface is in French. I sound like I'm losing my voice here. So, let's see, is anybody else uh, online? No. Should we, what do you think? Should we do one more? Um, no. No? Uh, oopsies. That's a no no. Oops. Wait, Yay. there we go. Yay. Should I do one more? Yay. Yeah, let's do one more. Trying, as I said, to get back to Challenger 1. And really just uh, getting the feel for this deck up against Domicile. <laughs> Getting the feel for this deck, as I said, I feel like you really have to be disciplined with this deck. With any decks that are this expensive, let's just go heavy. Okay, Prince can take it. Is he going to get his charge? He's going to get knocked back, but ah, that was a well played. Bien joué, as the French say. I'm just going to let those gobbies do their little stabbing thing. Let's regroup. Regroup here. We might do a little beef at the back. Yeah, let's do beef at the back. Mama versus Junior. And we are going to split the minion horde. Okay, so those fire spirits are gonna... Oh, they did a lot of damage there. And um, there's probably gonna be a swarm of some sort. Can Mama Pekka land one? No, again, well played. That's the thing about the Pekka, she's easily distractible. And instead of... See, normally, you know, it's very easy to want a knee-jerk defend. But I think... Oftentimes you just have to sit back and say, okay, I'm gonna take some damage on the tower. We're doing we're doing okay here. Now we are gonna do oh uh, we might do let's see, we know they have minion horde. We're going heavy. Oh, can we get a charge, people? They just blew a lot on that lightning. Very nice placement of fire spirits and a the log. Big mama doesn't get it, but now we're in lead. Okay. Defensive Dark Prince. 
Now we're gonna do a little split push here. We're gonna do double prints. And you know what's coming. Let's do predictive yes. Oh, if only it had been a little sooner. Fire spirits, of course. Prince is dead, but look at these guys doing work. Our little gobbies. And our minion. Okay, so we're gonna do... Let's handle the, the mini P.E.K.K.A. Let's handle the mini P.E.K.K.A. with um, the Goblin Gang is what I was trying to say there. Again, it's hard to hard to talk and play sometimes. Doing some quality work on the right there. Jeez. Okay, it's time for Dark Prince, and in comes the Goblin Barrel. We're going to go hard left here, because there's going to be a The Log coming. Oh, I think they've given up. Okay, so gradually... Oh, and look at that. A quest completed. How special. Gradually clawing my way back, so what am I? About three victories away from Challenger 1. I gotta get back to Challenger 1. I hate being out of Challenger 1. And I like this deck. I don't really like Pekka, and I don't really like Double Prince, and yet look at the deck I'm using now. I did. I saw this on Clash with Ash, and... Uh, Pro tip. And I was intrigued by it, and one of the tips, I can't remember the name of the person who was who was explaining, uh, sort of doing the walkthrough of this deck, but one of the things he said, which I try to take to heart, is use that goblin barrel a lot. Keep using the goblin barrel. So that's my <laughs> for the day. And uh, there you go, three, three battles. Wait, was that last one? Look at this, I already can't remember. No, it was one tip. Two three crowners and a one zip, not too shabby for a Monday. Hope you have a great week. I might put up another video this week. Anyway, nice to be doing these again. And as always, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Brooklyn Daddy!